Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. Today in this video I would like to show you how to verify Linux Mint ISO when you install Linux Mint and downloading the ISO from the official website or from mirror links. How to verify it? I've been getting these questions many many times in the comment section under my videos. So I have decided to make this video to explain how to verify the image and if it's necessary. All right, let's get started. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, take a second to click the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you find this video helpful, please support it with your like. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So if we go to the Linux Mint website, which is linuxmint.com, as you can see, the current version is Linux Mint 22 Wilma. So go ahead and click on the download button. One can choose between three different versions of Linux Mint, which is Cinnamon Edition, XFCE Edition, and Mate Edition. All these editions are very close to each other, but they serve different purposes. Depending on the hardware that you got in your computer, the more powerful computers can handle the regular Cinnamon Edition, but if you have a pretty old and weak computer, you can use the XFCE Edition. Anyway, if you go to the installation instructions and then go here to verify your ISO image, it will tell you how to perform verification of the ISO that you have downloaded. But if you don't want to read through all this information, I'm going to show it to you in this video. So let's go ahead and do this right now. So first of all, let's go back to our main page and we need to download the ISO. So let's go ahead and click on the download button. I'm just going to choose Cinnamon Edition. As you can see, the size is 2.7 gigabyte, not very big, but not small too. You can choose where you want to download it from. I'm just going to choose the world ones, the first one available. It may not be the fastest one, but I'm just going to try it. So just left click on it. Then it should be saving to the downloads folder. So just click save. And as you can see, it started to download. The download is in progress. So I will just wait until the download is complete. And I'm just going to fast forward it so you don't have to wait for that long. And as you can see, it's not taking very long. The speed is pretty quick. There we go. So the ISO is downloaded. Let's proceed with the verification. So the process is not very complicated, but it might be difficult for new users or whoever just starting to learn Linux or just want to know how to install Linux. It may be a bit complicated. So that's why I don't include this process in my regular videos because this step takes extra time and I just don't want to make my videos so huge. But anyway, as you can see over here, it says integrity and authenticity. Anyone can produce fake ISO images. It is your responsibility to check you're downloading the official ones. From my experience, if you download it from any of these locations, they should be pretty much legit there. But, you know, there's still chance that you're going to get some fake ISO, which might include some links or some codes that not going to work very good on your computer, might actually impose some damage to your computers. So the question whether you need to verify or not, it would be the best practice to do so to verify it. But if you don't do it, there is a good chance that you're going to be OK still, because I have been installing Linux Mint many, many times and I never faced any problems. But of course, if you got some time and you know how to do it, you can just go ahead and do that. By the way, here is a good explanation why you need to verify the ISO image. What it says is it is important to verify the integrity and authenticity of your ISO image. The integrity check confirms that the ISO image was properly downloaded and that the local file is an exact copy of the file present on the download servers. An error during download could result in a corrupted file and trigger random issues during the installation. And I definitely get comments under my videos where people facing issues during the installation. So it could be the result of the corrupted download. That's why I always tell them to just try again and just re-download the file and flash it again on the USB stick because this might be the issue unless there is some different problem altogether. The authenticity check confirms that the ISO image you downloaded was signed by Linux Mint and thus that it isn't modified or malicious copy made by someone else. Well, this is a different aspect. Authenticity, you don't want to download some ISO that was modified by somebody else. Who knows what they did there so you want to download something that was signed by linux mint which means it would be an authentic copy all right let's proceed with this verification all right so first thing what we need to do you need to right click on these two buttons here so just right click on the first one the sha256sum.txt right click and then choose save link as it's going to bring us the download folder so just go ahead and click save. 
This is going to be the reference files. We're going to compare the reference SHA-256 sum to the one that we're going to get during the process of verification. And then also do the same thing with the SHA-256sum.txt.gpg. So right click, save link as, and then save. Okay, so they're all saved. Then click on the verify button. The first method would work for those who already use Linux Mint. But since we're just trying to install Linux Mint on our computer or laptop, definitely it's not our option because we don't have Linux Mint installed yet. So we would have to proceed to a different method. So this whole verification process is not going to work if you don't have Linux. If you have Windows like most people do, you need to click over here how to verify the ISO image on Windows. So let's go ahead and right click on it, open it up. And it shows you all the information here. If you want to read through it, nothing special, but it might be a little complicated. So I'm going to show it to you right now how to do that. Then we need to download the GNU PG, which is going to be located under this link. So just right click on it and then open link in the new tab. And we need to download the download SIG, which is going to be over here for Windows. If you have Mac OS, you need a different one, but we're just going to do it for the Windows this time. So just click on the download. It will also save it to the downloads. Click Save. And then once it's downloaded, go ahead and start it. So we just need to install it. Then click OK. Then Next. Then Next again. Then Install. And it's just going to install within a few seconds. All right. Once it's completed, press Next. And then just take this check mark off and click Finish. Then what we need to do, we need to find the download folder where we have downloaded all our files. As you can see, it automatically downloaded to the download folder, but it could be in other folders as well. If you download it to like a specific folder on a desktop, find the download folder and then just hold shift and right click on it. And then just choose open PowerShell window here. As you can see, it has opened up the PowerShell and we're already located in this download folder. Then we need to type CMD, then press enter. And we need to enter this code here, cert util space dash hash file then file name SHA-256. So you can either type it by hand or you can copy and paste. I prefer just typing it. It's not very much typing. So cert util space dash hash file. Then you need to enter the name of the file. So just go to the download folder. Right click on the file we have downloaded, rename, copy the full name of the file with an extension, then click copy. If for some reason you don't have the ISO extension, you can go to the options panel here at the top. If it's minimized, you can expand it by just clicking on the arrow in the upper right corner and then go to the view. Make sure this check mark here where the file name extension is, make sure it's highlighted, then it will show you the extension. If it's not highlighted, as you can see, there is no extension anywhere. So once you have copied the full name with an extension, just go to this command prompt again, press Ctrl plus V. So we have entered this full name. You can also type it as well. You don't have to copy it, but it's just a little bit quicker. Then put space and then just type SHA-256 and press enter. So there we go. As you can see, it has finished and we have got the alphanumeric sequence that is called hash. If this hash is identical to the one listed in our SHA-256sum.txt file, then the integrity will be passed. Let's go ahead and check it out. Go to the download again, open this txt file, and now is the most interesting thing. We have to verify this image. It will not be very fun to do because there's so many digits. So we have to do it one after one. And I don't know, maybe if you can, uh, let's see if we can format. For the font, make it bigger a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Now it's a little bit better. So now we have to go one after one. Make sure that this alphanumeric sequence will match this one here. And it looks to me that it does. So 7A04B54A30004E945 and so on. You can just pause it and verify, make sure that's the one. If it matches, then the test is passed. There are other methods how to calculate the SHA-256 hash sum, but I'm not going to show it in this video. If you want to know how to do that, you can check out my other video 
how to create bootable USB stick with portable Pop OS. And there I explain how to do an integrity check using other software as well. So if you're interested, I'm gonna put a link in the description and link in the upper right corner as well, so check it out. But this method should be sufficient for most people because if you're using Windows, the command prompt is already integrated into Windows, so you don't need to install any additional programs. So we can continue on and verify the authenticity. Let's go to the authenticity check. For the authenticity check, we need to copy this command line here. And you can just click select all and then right click copy, then open up the command prompt again and press control plus V and then press enter. And then we need to copy the second line, which is gonna be this GPG verify sha256sum.txt.gpg. Then right click, copy, then open up the command prompt, control V, press enter. There we go. As you can see over here, it says good signature from Linux Mint ISO sign in key root at linuxmint.com. So this is what we've been looking for. So basically, as long as it says good signature from Linux Mint ISO sign in key, we all good to go. So there you have it. You can ignore the warning that comes after that. So there you go, we have passed two tests. One was the integrity, another one was authenticity. This is how you verify the ISO image for integrity and authenticity. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was helpful and you like it, please support it with a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button. This will help me a lot to grow my channel, bring you more helpful, interesting Linux videos. And if you have comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. But for now, I hope you have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.